Tony. How are you doing today? Hello there, Tony. Hope you are doing well today. Me, I'm okay, still recovering from surgery. My question is a simple one. Since when does someone's opinion become classified hate speech or incite violence? Hi there. I'm good. Thanks for asking. I hope you're recovering fast. As I understand, you want to know more about hate speech. Is that correct? Unfortunately, slowly recovering, but recovering. I do have some hate followers who go out of their way to flag my content. But my latest video is only my opinions. Nowhere do I assert or incite violence in any way. I gave my opinions as a gay man about things going on at the moment in the LGB community. Those are my opinions, not hate speech per se. Thanks for confirming. Unfortunately, my appeal was rejected, but I cannot see any hate speech nor inciting in that video. I know how important it is to know these things so that we do not violate community guidelines. Sure, I may make fun of things, but I am not hating on anywhere specific, nor asking people to go out and do violence. It just feels like you're only part of a protected group if your thoughts align with a certain view, which I find not very unbiased. Do I have to speak with less sarcasm? Do I need to add more context when I speak? Flagging content can be done by any viewer. But rest assured that we review content first thoroughly before taking action. Well, you say that, yet three other video platforms reviewed the same content and found no foul with it. It seems like I am being punished because I said, do not use your children for any agenda. Is that wrong to say? Does YouTube support using children for agendas? You see where I am coming from? No attack on yourself, Tony. Just speaking. I understand where you're coming from. We do have policies in place regarding children. Is it the lack of context because people want to recontextualize what I am saying? For example, if I say we must stand up against this nonsense, I am saying we must say no to it, not go out and fight. You can check the child safety policy here. I know you do have policies on children. My channel is not for children. It is for adults, marked as such too. I have gone over every policy before reaching out to you. Because as I said, nothing in my video is hate speech nor inciting violence unless you want to twist my words. So I am asking, when is an opinion hate speech? As much as I want to share that information with you, we're unable to provide any specifics regarding our review process, nor the tools or logs that we use in the investigation. Determining this depends on our internal review reams. I don't expect you to re-review my video, nor overturn your decision. YouTube never, ever does that. All I'm wanting to know is do I need to be very clear and add more context around every single word I use in my videos moving forward to avoid this? <laughs> yeah, we do X, but won't tell you what X is, which is unfortunate. They go by our hate speech policies and guidelines. If I add context in my videos themselves, do you listen to that context? For example, if I say blah blah and then add, let me be clear, I am not advocating for hate speech at all, nor inciting violence. I am just saying I disagree with X. Would that kind of thing make a difference in your reviewing of the videos? Context is very important for all videos, but it's particularly important when posting graphic content. I am trying to work within your system, Tony, and if that means adding a ton of extra content, would that help? Well, I don't believe I have posted graphic content, but that within itself differs from person to person on what graphic content is. As I said, I have looked at guidelines, and rules, and TOS, etc. None of it is specific, hence reaching out to you about when an opinion becomes hate speech, which still isn't answered yet. I want to work within your system on YouTube, but I also want to get my thoughts on a subject out. So what should I do to meet that balance in your opinion? Just add a ton more context around the subject? I understand where you're coming from. While we are unable to provide editorial advice, we trust that as a creator, you know your channel and content best. 
I could tone my anger down on subjects, but to be honest, I didn't think being angry at a subject matter meant hate speech or inciting violence. Our internal teams determine this if something is in line with our policy or not. To be honest, I just feel like many people that do not like me speaking my mind on certain things are intentionally using your own hate speech rules to silence opposing opinions. How can one battle something like that? Does anything we say in here to you make it back to the main YouTube guys to help improve YouTube for all? I'm sorry that is the way you feel. You can send us feedback anytime. My only suggestion would be during a strike, allowing creators to make one post on their community tab to announce that they will no longer be able to upload for a week. Your feedback goes to Eclipse YouTube engineers. That is a good suggestion so that your viewers will know when they will expect your content to be posted. I have three other places to upload to without too much worry of being censored. This seems to be the only place it happens. I pray it changes as we move forward. Again, I still haven't received an answer about when opinions become hate speech. And I'm guessing that is because you are not allowed to tell me that. So all I can do is thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to speak with me. I'll attempt to add more context to my videos moving forward, hoping that when you review them, you can review them with the proper context meant. I hope you have a great day, Tony. Thank you again. You're welcome. Is there anything else that I might be assisting me with? That's about it. Was what I thought a very simple question. I'm surprised it turned out to not be one you could answer. I will post my suggestion about the one post on the community, as mentioned above in the link you provided. Thanks, Tony. If there is nothing else, it was great chatting with you today. I appreciate being able to reach out now to a creator team. I just wish you were allowed to be more transparent with me. And I know that must be hard for you on your end too, so not blaming you. I understand. I also wish I could give you all the answers to your questions. Take care. There's just going to be a short survey coming up in the chat window about our interaction. I hope you can answer it for me. Thanks for contacting YouTube. Please take a moment to give us your feedback on the chat session.